All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. There's a new Dragon Ball game on the horizon. We got the official announcement this morning. Pretty epic stuff considering Sparking Zero drops in two more months. So my personal guess, I feel like this game is going to be dropping sometime next year, late 2025. Not confirmed, just a speculation. Right now, this game is currently in its project phase. So it's called Dragon Ball Project Multi. Obviously, when it gets closer to its official release, we're going to be getting its real title and it seems pretty promising so far i'm looking forward to this stay tuned to the channel turn on post notifications because we're going to be talking everything dragon ball project multi so the type of genre i believe the correct terminology is moab something similar to that recent jump festa anime game that dropped a while ago you know with all the different anime characters from dragon ball naruto one piece demon slayer bleach and even something similar to Pokemon Unite, right? That type of Dragon Ball game. And I do have to say, I like how they're branching out, right? First, we got the Dragon Ball The Breakers, which is an asymmetrical game, I believe. Uh, now a Moab. I would like to see in the future a platformer fighter, you know, something similar to Smash Bros. Or even a Battle Royale, because we also got the My Hero Ultra Rumble Battle Royale game, which is really fun. You guys should try that out if you haven't already, but imagine a Dragon Ball Battle Royale, right? <laughs> anyway, moving forward, we're going to be covering uh, all the latest information and updates. We also have a trailer, which I already saw, but we're going to go ahead and break it down. This is the official Dragon Ball Project Multi Twitter page. Official Twitter for the latest game, Dragon Ball Project Multi. There's going to be a beta test. How crazy is that? It's relatively soon as well. August 20th through the 3rd of September. UTC, iOS, Android, and Steam. So that's the downside to a lot of players I know. It's a mobile game as well as PC. So I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know why they don't uh, put this uh, sort of stuff over on consoles. But iOS, Android, and Steam. My preferred preference, of course, is going to be playing this on Steam. Final game title will be announced on a later date. Down here, we have a small description. Stand together, win together. That's their motto, I'm assuming. The Dragon Ball franchise's first 4v4 team-oriented battle begins. Regional beta test scheduled. Uh, period, August 20th, 6 a.m., September 3rd, uh, 5.59 a.m. UTC. And there is the trailer. Let's go ahead and pause that. Watch it over here on YouTube just because of the slightly better quality. It's pretty cool. I think it's going to be a fun game. Not necessarily my most ideal genre video game, but it is what it is. If it's Dragon Ball, I'm playing it. So we have the different characters. We'll go ahead and watch this through first and then do the complete breakdown. So it's a team versus another team. Four characters on each. Look at that. Goku versus Vegeta. Yay! Cinematic cutscenes, ultimate attacks, transformations, limitless odds. We can perform different supers different abilities that each characters will have and i think there's going to be unique roles it was shown on the steam website which we'll go over we also have some hd screenshots uh we have characters from og dragon ball dbz and dragon ball super it's always gt that gets left out man why why is it always gt that gets shafted man somebody please explain will gt characters be in sparking zero not sure <laughs> That's it for the entire trailer. So as for the characters, we first see Piccolo, who flies down right here. Then we have Android 18, specifically from the Terminal Power, aka Dragon Ball Super, the tracksuit, Trillin, Vegeta. So this is Team 1, Vegeta. Then we have Majin Buu, uh, Future Trunks, Damasu, and Goku for Team Goku. Very epic. I do like the graphics and art design. It kind of does resemble that Jump Festa game, right? I guess this is always the type of style that they aim for whenever they do Moabs. So, we do have other exclusive characters. Uh, the Space Pirate Robot, or the uh, Robot Pirate, whatever it's called, from OG Dragon Ball. Uh, they are going up against an enemy from the Red Ribbon base. We have the outfit from the recent superhero movie. That's cool characters using their attacks we have zeno attacking champa look at that <laughs> champa's in trouble man he's destroying their universe rip goku versus vegeta of course we have some objectives i believe it said we have to capture the dragon ball uh, but here very epic cinematic gallic flash perhaps 
point blank. Ooh, the camera angles. And it seems like it knocks Goku all the way back to the start. <laughs> and then we have Goku saying that you'll pay dialogue top tier. Uh, yeah, what do you guys think of the animation so far? I think it's cool. Look at that. Mid Super Saiyan Goku just because of the fluffy hair. You know, the Go outfit with the camera angle. First time transforming into Super Saiyan. Cool stuff. Power up. We have Goku utilizing Super Kamehameha. Piccolo over there. Uh, flying around. So we do have another character. Which is the Supreme Kai from one of the other universes. Can't remember which one exactly. Android 16 is right here. Also confirming Super Saiyan Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, Super Kamehameha. I'm assuming that's his ultimate attack, right? But this time around, Android 16 activates his energy field. So again, each character is going to have their own unique play styles. Uh, Android 16 seems to be more of a tank type of character where he, you know, can activate defense or support character, right? How he distracts the enemy, I guess that's how you want to call it. A uh, Universe 11, God of Destruction right there on the right. And we have another OG character from Dragon Ball. Uh, bottom left corner, we can see kind of like that monster, that giant bear or whatever. And here is Goku retrieving the Dragon Ball, winning the game. See, so claim victory right there. And I'm assuming this is the Planet Namek Dragon Ball just because of the size. Of course, uh, they're supposed to be a lot larger than Earth's. And Majin Buu using his type of ultimate or super. Obliterating Goku over there. Doing this uh, consecutive role. <laughs> Android 18 versus Vegeta. Why is it always Vegeta versus Android 18? You can't catch a break. <laughs> Team Ultimates. Does this confirm Team Ultimates? We have the Shoryuken up into the downward kick by Zamasu. Yay! Oh, the destruction. Kid Gohan versus future Super Saiyan Trunks. Confirming more characters. I think this is OG Dragon Ball just because of this frame right here. This is what Goku did. You know how he broke through the building. Pretty cool stuff. And if we pay attention to the background, we can actually see the other universes, right? On the left, we have the three over here. And then on the right, we have three more. Is that one? No, I think that's just the weird shockwave. But we have six different universes. Of course, this is like the Zeno Palace or whatever. Uh, the different buildings in the backgrounds. And I think there was like a Planet Namek house as well. Here we have the different cast characters using their ultimate attacks. Special Beam Cannon by Piccolo. Stand together. Went together. Krillin using the Barrage Destructo Disc, I, at least I think. Or it could be Super Destructo Disc, just because of the size of it. Uh, here we have Zamasu's unique ultimate. I don't think I've seen an ultimate like this one before. You see how he does that, that fighting stance right there, charges up the Key Blast. And look at the background. Giant AoE! Giant AoE! <laughs> what type of role is Zamasu going to play? Not entirely sure. Probably more like a damage character, or a support, just because he's not technically a fighter right which is why he had to take goku's body unfortunately uh vegeta look at that look at that the render on the right or it's not necessarily the character render i guess just the model itself it, it kind of looks like he's about to transform into majin just because of the darkened outline around his eyes right <laughs> big bang attack of course yay welcome to super vegeta's big bang attack and goku's super Spirit Bomb, look at that. Facial animations top tier directly from the anime. It is slightly different though. He transforms while throwing the attack just to save some time. Of course, he's not going to be, you know, throwing out the dialogue saying, I wish you'd come back as someone different or stronger, whatever, and then transforms. No, it's kind of like a combination where he transforms and then throws it right there. Boom. And then we have the iconic Spirit Bomb stance, if you will. And I think, who's that? Who's that character in the center right there? You see that? Is that supposed to be Vegeta or, or someone new? Not sure. Versus L4, a Dragon Ball experience like no other. Again, they're branching out into different types of genres, which is something I definitely appreciate. So, the different beta tests. Here we have uh, all the different countries that they're going to be in. Canada, France, Germany, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, United Kingdom and United States. For Germany and South Korea specifically, the testing will be limited to iOS and Android. Once again for me, playing this on Steam, but we also have the official Dragon Ball Project Multi website. Look at this. Goku render, pretty top tier. I like the art style and the design itself. Pretty cool. Coming soon to the App Store and Google Play. 
test regions we already went over the platforms regions and languages listed are those which will be supported at the start of the regional beta test for germany and south korea testing will be limited to ios and android those joining through steam that's me must request access access will be granted to participants from eligible regions it may take some time to approve requests be sure to do that again the motto stand together went together the trailer right there uh, the official Twitter page we went over here. We have the user agreements. Nothing too fancy test overview Important details. All right, we can pause and read all of that and The requirements for PC the minimum and recommended right so uh, for the minimum the OS Windows 10 and 11 cool CPU AMD Ryzen 3 2200 G or the Intel Core i5 6600 Memory, 8 gigabytes. GPU, which is the graphics card. GTX 960, which I don't think is like a top tier graphics card. More of the lower end, I believe. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. AMD Radeon R9 280X or the Intel Arc A310. DirectX 12 and 4.5 gigabytes of storage. Now for the recommended Windows 10, Windows 11. It's almost similar, actually. Minimum and recommended AMD Ryzen 3 3100 or the Intel Core i7. Actually, no, I believe i7 Intel Core is a lot stronger than Intel Core i5. <laughs> 8 gigabytes, that's the same. GTX 970, so I believe just one up from the 960. AMD Radeon R9 290X or the Intel Arc A380. Android requirements. First, we have the recommended specs, Snapdragon 8, Gen 2 or later. Minimum specs, Snapdragon 855 or later, OS, Android 10 or later, memory, 4 gigabytes or more. Now we have the iOS recommended specs, iPhone 13 or later. Minimum specs, iPhone 11, iOS 15, 3 gigabytes of memory. And we have, what's this? Again, pause and read, just like, just basic info, right? Play data obtained through this test will be used to analyze and improve the game. Yeah, j just the terms and conditions, the agreements, stuff like that. That's pretty much it for the official website. However, we have HD screenshots of the game itself. I believe we have even more information down here about this game. The Dragon Ball franchise's first team-oriented battle begins. Intense 4 vs. 4 team battle. Experience the world of Dragon Ball through wrecking the battlefield with your own strength or by conquesting the enemy objective with your friends and allies. The hero characters you take in control will grow in strength as the round progress to give you a chance to obliterate enemy players and bosses alike. So, the bosses, I, I think we saw a little bit of that. You know, Zeno was attacking Shampa. Trampa could be a boss or a playable character, not sure. Uh, but even Uzaru, Goku, I'm sure that's like the boss. We each have a boss, one on our team, one on the enemy team, stuff like that. Uh, not sure if we have to collect the Dragon Balls first and then attack the boss, which is most likely the case. Again, I'm not too familiar with the Moab uh, system. Heroes with roles. So this is the role system I was talking about earlier. Pick heroes with unique abilities and skills to fulfill their roles. The simple but effective super aggressive damage roll, which is something that's more akin to my playstyle. The ever persistent tank roll, staying on the battlefield indefinitely. I feel like that's the Android 16 that we saw, right? <laughs> the technical roll, which excels in ally support and, or enemy disruption. So, uh, technical roll, probably my least favorite. However, I do like the enemy disruption part, so I think I might uh, play this one as well. But so far, I like the first one. I think that's. Uh, the best one in terms of my personal playstyle customization from simple character aesthetic changes with skin items to animation changes express your love for the characters in your own way acquire a wide variety of customization items such as entrance animations to special finisher animations so it seems like not confirmed just, just speculation that we could do kind of swap out the characters ultimate attacks it just does say right here uh, customization items such as entrance animations, so the character intros, to special finisher animations. So maybe Goku with Super Spare Bomb, Goku with Times 20 Kaoken Kamehameha, or whatever it may be. Internet connection required, obviously. This product is a multiplayer game that is played mainly through online matches between players. Online matches allow you to play against 
players from all over the world. You will match with people whose network conditions are optimal for the region you play in. So here we have some of the HD screenshots starting over here. The very first one, we have Goku and Majin Buu flying. And I guess you could say a bit of Easter eggs in the background. Not necessarily Easter eggs, but you know, just stuff that we'll probably be familiar with from the Dragon Ball universe. We have the TV station, the news Z station, I guess that's what it's called. Not entirely sure. Another OG Dragon Ball character, Toby Reen. Is it Toby Reen? Is it Toby Rama? No, that's the Hokage from Naruto. <laughs> it's, I think it's Toby Reen, which of course is one of the dragon demons from Demon King Piccolo. And again, over here on the right, we have the Red Ribbon superhero outfit. It did say down here, customization, uh, let's see, right here, character aesthetic changes with skin items. So that very well could be Piccolo because he did infiltrate the Red Ribbon base for the one time, right? Oh, nice, a very clean shot right here. Yeah, get this in full screen. Look at that. <laughs> Top tier, again, mid Super Saiyan Goku with the fluffy hair, the Gogi. Going back over here, we have Goku on the left utilizing Super Kamamaha and Vegeta right there in the center using his signature iconic attack, Consecutive Energy Blast or whatever it's called in this game. Uh, both attacking the enemy's boss, right? Uzaru Goku? Is that Uzaru Goku? Again, the only reason why I think it is Kid Goku is because of that uh, frame, how he broke through the building. Pretty cool. Oh, that's so cool. Not sure if... Cooler over here is a playable character, which I'm hoping that's the case. It's a Dragon Ball game. We need more than just 10 different playable characters, right? <laughs> I really want to know how the roster is going to be like. Again, I'm not familiar with the Moab type genres, so not sure how many different characters there are in general, right? It could be like 12, 10. So in terms of Dragon Ball, it could just be like the main characters that we already saw, like Krillin, Piccolo, Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks, Goku. The main villains as well, most likely. And here we have Goku finishing the game, taking one for his team. Pretty epic stuff. This is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the upcoming Dragon Ball game. Stay tuned to the channel. Again, this is just in its early phase. We don't even have the official title. We don't have the release date. Uh, however, we do have a beta test relatively soon in about 12 more days how crazy is that man well we got the announcement official announcement for sparking zero december of 2023 of course the leaked teaser not leaked but the teaser trailer battle hour was march of 2023 and we still don't have confirmation of a beta test hey that's totally fine we have to be patient maybe sometime next month for sparking zero you know what i'm saying but yeah 12 more days for this definitely going to sign up try this out for the one time Create some content for you guys. Thank you guys for the immense support as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.